nail plate consists of fibrous keratin proteins arranged parallel to its transverse axis. In between these keratin fibers are non-fibrous globular protein called keratin associated proteins which hold together the keratin fibers. They act as a glue. These keratin fibers and keratin associated proteins these are rich in cysteine amino acid. Thus they form disulfide bonds. So disulfide bonds are formed between keratin fibers and keratin associated protein. And these disulfide bonds they impart the integrity and strength to the structure of nail plate. Cysteine amino acid is semi-essential amino acid that can be synthesized normally in our body from methionine through a multi-step process involving, involving many different enzymes. And one of the enzymes which is required for this process is heme containing cystathione beta synthase that might be deficient in severe cases of iron deficiency anemia. Furthermore, the two cysteine amino acid they combine together uh, their sulfhydryl group is reduced their sulfhydryl group is reduced in the presence of oxygen and disulfide bond is formed between two cysteine amino acid and resultantly the amino acid which is formed is called cysteine amino acid so two cysteine amino acid they combine and form Sulfi disulfide bond and cysteine amino acid is formed so this is this disulfide bond so when iron deficiency is there in severe cases of iron deficiency there will be of course tissue oxygenation would be decreased at cellular level so this process will be impaired as well as synthesis of cysteine amino acid from methionine this might be impaired so because of these reasons this these might be the reasons of decreased cysteine content in the nail plate so thus the structural integrity of nail is not maintained so the nail plate which is formed it is thin and brittle so brittle and thin nail plate is formed in severe cases of iron deficiency anemia furthermore uh, it is believed that uh, in iron deficiency anemia there would be decreased blood supply in the distal part of subungual connective tissue so subungual connective tissue the distal part of subungual connective tissue would be destroyed and this thin brittle nail plate will be depressed centrally with inverted margins so there will be central concavity or depression along with inverted inverted margins and central concavity or depression thus the nail adopt a spoon like shape normal nail turns into a spoon like spoon shaped nail and this is called kylonechia. Kylonechia means spoon shaped nail. Kylonechia is a characteristic finding of iron deficiency anemia. Uh, although the pathogenesis of this kylonechia, pathogenesis of this process is not that simple, but the basic mechanism is this. It is too complex to explain, but basic mechanism is this.